Do you have a wish of experiencing a lotus bloom right in front of your eyes? Well, your wish might just be turned into reality, because I am here to share with you all the secrets of growing a micro lotus or bowl lotus. Hello guys, welcome to another video of Gardening Escape. So when we hear micro lotus or bowl lotus, we start wondering, can we really grow them in a bowl? Or is the lotus that tiny? Well, all our guesses are true. Yes, the flowers of micro lotus is very small compared to normal lotuses. And yes, we can grow them just in a bowl. I have some tubers of Liangli in front of me. It's a popular micro lotus variety around the world right now. I am gonna use them just to show you how it's done. First thing we have to do is selecting a proper container. I have lot of tubers from last year's plant, so I will use multiple containers, preferably plastic ones cause they are cheap and handy. Other than plastic containers, you can use anything like ceramic pots, earthen pots or even metal containers. Just be careful about the heat if you are using metal ones. Roots get damaged fast, so I don't recommend it. I will use this type of 8 liter tubs for 2 or 3 tubers. You can use smaller tubs in case you got only one tuber to plant. Selecting or preparing soil for lotus is most crucial part. Because lotus thrives in soft muddy soil, we have to replicate exact same texture for good plant growth. If it's easy for you to get mud from a pond, go for it. I've been using pond mud over a year and I didn't even fertilize my plants. For those who can't get pond mud, use normal garden soil and manure. At first, put a layer of well decayed manure at the bottom and add garden soil above the manure. Then soak it with plenty of water and let it sit for some time. After that, we can plant the tubers. After planting, dip the whole container inside another container full of water. Then place it in partial shade where it will get 3 to 4 hours of sunlight every day. In my experience, partial shade works best compared to full sun. If placed in full sun, containers get very hot and forces lotus to stop root growth. Now to get a healthy plant with lot of flowers, we need to provide nourishment as well. I recommend adding a handful of well decayed manure or worm castings once in every 20 days. Along with that, apply 1 gram sulphate of potash or NPK0050, wrapping it in a tissue paper. Lotus doesn't need a lot of fertilizer, but it needs a clean environment free of algae and dead plant parts. Clean out spent flowers, dead parts and algae by hand. In every 3 or 4 days, let the water flow away all the debris by draining water like this. After a month's wait or so, you will have a bowl full of lotus right in front of you. So bring a plant and enjoy growing lotus in your garden. That's all for today guys. If you like the video, please share and subscribe Gardening Escape. Thanks for watching. Stay fit and happy gardening.